Hey, good day all of you and uh, today I'm going to uh, try uh, to to look at this um, the papazoa emetazoa split uh, you means true uh, uh, so as you can see that um, animals they started as ancestral protist the multicellular there uh, they moved to multicellular then they, they separated the other animals which have no true tissues and other animals which have tissues. Those animals which have tissues divided into two, into radial symmetry and the bilateral symmetry. Those animals which are bilateral symmetry, some they had a body cavity, some don't have a body cavity. Those who have a body cavity, some they had a silom, uh, some they have a silom, some have a pseudocilum. Uh, um, those who have a pseudocilum, some they molted. Those who have a silom, a protostome, and the diostilstrom. So these are animals where the evolution of animals took place. But we are going to look at the this first uh, split. This first first split is called the parazoa, a metazoa split. So metazoans are a monophyletic uh, group. They have a common great, great ancestor. As you know that the animals, yeah, according to the colonial, colonial theory, uh, scientists believe that we are from, we are from flagellates. And the reason why we are from flagellates, which came together, the volvos, the volvosid, phytoflagellates, the flagellates which are in plant form were the first flagellates. So to, to come together and we scientists believe that we are from that flagellate. Uh, we need to know this. Uh, we need to know that the, the metazoan, they share a great grand ancestor. We are from a same cells, to say, same cells. Um, we share our ancestor. As we see that the first animals to form, these are the animals which we are believed to come from. And these animals are where the, where the uh, protozoans which came together. Uh, we originated from a protometazoan and with the time this diversified. The first metazoans resulted into two subkingdom. The first cells to integrate, they resulted into two subkingdoms, which are the subkingdom Parazoa and subkingdom U Metazoa. The subkingdom U Metazoa, these are the true animals which we are seeing today. And the Parazoa, these are the animals, but they don't have tissues. And we say the Parazoa, they, they are evolutionary dead. They didn't advance further. Uh, if I can go back to the slide which I was coming from, where you will see animals dividing, you will see that from multicellularity there, there are animals with, with true tissues and there are animals without true, true, true tissues. Those animals without, without true tissues, they are called the parazoa. This split is also called the parazoa and metazoa split. So this split, we call it the parazoa, the metazoa split. Uh, this uh, metazoa, metazoa uh, so we are going to move on to the, these characteristics of the parazoa. Uh, the characteristic of the parazoa, uh, we can say that they don't have defined tissues and organs. Uh, their cells specialize and integrate their activities. This parazoa, they are cellular level. They are in a cellular level of organization. They don't have defined tissues or organs. And organisms is just a loose aggregation of different types of cells. The organization is just a loose aggregation of different types of of different types of cell. So we, we, can't, we can't say that tissues, no. They're just the cells which are there, which can, 
which can specialize and which can integrate the activities but so ne, so ne, so ne, they are not here yeah, they are not tissues so you don't have gem there are no germinal layers or no gastulation we uh we said earlier before that uh gastulation is the formation of what of a gastrula a, a gastrula after gastulation there will be gem layers which are formed and we're going to talk about the gem layers as the time goes by so intracellular digestion they digest inside so this organiz organism in other words you can say that it is operating in a cell cellular level of organization they are not tissues so the we all remaining phyla belong to the subkingdom emetazoa so the the porifera or spongy these are the parazoa that are there uh, now let us look at the characteristics of the eumetazoa eumetazoa you means true these are true animals animals which you see today didn't see all metazoa have true tissues because all animals that you know they have true tissues insects have true true tissues analidas uh, chodatas they have true tissues uh you can also say that they have organs uh, the tissues are assembled into larger functional units called organs because there is a process called organogenesis which takes place the other characteristics of eumetazoa is that all eumetazoan embryo gastrulate to form germinal layers uh, we can say that gastrulation takes place gastrulation takes place we know that when a when a after a zygote there are some divisions to form a eight cell structure after that there are some divisions to form blastulation after blastulation there's gastrulation after gastrulation there's organogenesis so these germinal layers which are formed they can be two when there are two there it is called di diapoblastic when there are three is called triploblastic so when there are two you have you have the ectoderm and the endoderm ectoderm is the layer outside endoderm is the layer inside mesoderm is the middle layer is a watery or uh, liquid uh, middle layer uh, these three layers are responsible for producing tissues and organs during process of organogenesis after gastrulation uh, a gastro is formed and a gastro is formed there will be some layers it's, these layers they can be two or they can be three and these layers are responsible for formation of what for tissues and also responsible for the uh, process of organo organogenesis So the other characteristics of, of this subkingdom uh, emetozoa is that uh, all emetozoans have a chamber in which food is retained. They have a chamber in which food is retained. And this chamber is called the digestive cavity. And the chamber is called the digestive uh, cavity. And the chamber is, is called the digestive cavity. Uh, So this chamber is called the digestive cavity. And this cavity uh, uh, with an opening is called the mouth and through food is ingested. So the true animals, you know, they have two types of digestion. They have an incomplete digestive system and a complete digestive system. So what is it going to happen is that some, some of these, some of the metazoa, they have an opening, the, uh, the first opening, which is called the, the uh, the mouth and where food is passed is, is the end uh we like to call it the anus so when 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 an animal ha has two opening uh when an animal has a two opening uh that that is going to be is called a complete digestive system but when an animal has an one opening is called an incomplete digestive system it's called an incomplete digestive system uh so this way introduction to subkingdom emetazoa and Kingdom emet you metazoa. Uh, next lesson, I'm going to look at the phylum porifera. So you must watch the another video 
are looking at the phylum for the fail. But you need to know what we are talking about uh, in the, this last lesson, which we are talking about of parazoa and emetazoa. We said that parazoa, they don't have true tissues. Uh, and emetazoa, they have true, they are, these are the true animals which you know. So to find the characteristics of, of, of true animals, it's simple because this is a, these are animals which you, you grew up seeing. You, you know them. What, uh, what is an animal? This is the question that you always answer. What is an animal? So don't be confused about this. The, so the parazoa, the parazoa, it has only one phylum, and this is the phylum porifera, which we are going to discuss it in the last the coming lesson. And I hope these videos, when you watch them, make sure that uh, after you watch this lecture note explained, you go to YouTube, uh, uh, yeah, YouTube again. Uh, you look, you see the pictures of what kind of animals we are we talking about. Uh, because these lecture notes are acting as a guide. But this is biology. You need to supplement them uh, again and again and again.